uh, yeah, YouTube, I hope everything is going pretty good. I am getting ready for the MotoGP this weekend. So tomorrow I am riding up with a few good friends from San Antonio to Austin, Texas for the MotoGP weekend. Tomorrow, the plan is to check out some demo rides, look at some of the preliminary events, eat, have some beverages, maybe uh, walk around, take some photos, some videos, and come on back. Saturday, I'm not sure if I'm going Saturday or not. They're calling for about a 70% chance of uh, rain, and I really don't feel like being bothered with rain, so I may just skip Saturday's events, but Sunday looks like a very good day. Um, they've got more preliminary events going on, and then the main MotoGP, and then after that, I'll ride back home on Sunday evening and get ready for my, my work week. So it should, should be a pretty good weekend. I had a perfect trip lined up. I was supposed to take a class for work, a class that was mandatory. So I had the opportunity to look at various um, cities in which to take the class. And I had reserved to take this particular class in Destin, Florida in the Fort Walton Beach area, right off the Gulf Coast. Registered, made my hotel reservations, uh, made a plan to ride my motorcycle out there from here in San Antonio. I was going to make it a little a little mini trip. And uh, they canceled the class on me, so now I've got to find another place um, to take that course. And again, I'm still looking at places uh, where I can ride to. I've got two choices. Uh, one choice is Nashville, Tennessee, and the other choice is Phoenix, Arizona. So I'm a, I'll figure that out over the weekend, figure out what uh, course I want to take, because I will be riding my motorcycle to that destination. So I'll plan on video, videoing the, uh, the trip, recording the trip for you guys. And uh, we'll see how it goes. If I do go to Nashville, I'm going to make it a point to uh, head to Memphis because the course is over on Wednesday. So I'm going to head to Memphis for bike night on Bill Street. And then the next day, head back to San Antonio. If I go to Phoenix, there are so many cool places to ride in Arizona. Matter of fact, there's a like a pretty twisty road east of Phoenix, pretty close to the New Mexico border. I forgot the the name of the area of the road. I think it's 71 or 60, Highway 71 or or 60. But there you got some serious twisties over there and canyons. So if I do the Phoenix ride or the Phoenix option. I'll definitely take that route back home. So I'll make my decision over the weekend which one I'm, I'm going to go for. Hopefully those those uh, locations won't cancel their classes as well because I'm going to make a little mini, mini uh, motorcycle adventure out of it. So we shall see. Still planning on the Canada trip later this summer. I'll keep you guys updated on that. So what do you guys think about all this talk about autonomous vehicles? Is it worth the hype? I do not trust autonomous vehicles on the road. There's a few stories out there where motorcyclists have gotten hit from a driverless car. 
two stories in particular, and uh, I'll put those in the description section of the video. But basically, these auto manufacturers need to get their crap straight before they release these cars to the public. Now, I know uh, some of these manufacturers are still in the testing phase, but they are testing these vehicles out on the road. And again, one of these test vehicles hit a motorcycle not too long ago. My question is, if you're going to drive a car, why don't you just freaking drive the car? Don't let the car drive you. People are getting way too freaking lazy out there. And these uh, car manufacturers are perpetuating the issue. We're getting way too spoiled. We want technology to do everything for us. It's not a car's automobile's uh, responsibility to make sure other motorists out there are safe. It is, it is the driver's responsibility. When you put all this responsibility in the hands of technology, nothing good is going to come out of it. Not when it comes to that. Technology is great when it comes to mm, peripherals like GPS or you know, certain stereo system or auxiliary lights or sensors when you're backing up or so all oh, that's great in automobiles but when it comes to just relinquishing all control of your automobile and just letting technology handle where you go and how you get there it's just BS we're not there yet and me as a motorcyclist I don't trust technology. I don't trust technology to that point where I feel comfortable allowing people to relinquish control of their vehicles to technology. To say, okay, I'm not going to drive. Just let, let the car take me where I want to go. I don't feel comfortable being on the same road as these drivers and these vehicles. If you're going to drive, take the responsibility and drive. Maybe in 20 years from now or 30 years from now, technology will be at a point where, okay, motorcyclists will be totally safe in that particular environment. But we're not there yet. There are so many variables when it comes to motorcycles. How can you ensure that computer algorithms to be able to pick up a motorcycle on the road or the position of a particular motorcycle. Most motorcyclists drive on one side of the road or the other side. They're, they stop on the side of the road, not really in the middle of the road at intersection. So a lot of times the sensors in these driverless cars won't be able to detect these motorcyclists on the road. So how can you trust that technology at this point in time? So, I don't know. I'm just, uh, maybe I'm just too old school. I just don't like the idea of relinquishing responsibility to technology like that. That's all I'm saying. And uh, maybe I just need to take my, my old ass to the nursing home. Maybe I'm just too old for this uh, for this new way of thinking. But if you're going to drive a car, if you're going to drive an automobile, just drive the automobile. Don't leave it to the automobile to ensure your safety or, worse yet, ensure the safety of others. I think that's, that's complete BS. But anyway... And that is all I have for you today. And uh, I will talk to you very shortly. Peace.